So it's your boy Easy EA to the Z while I miss the definition of the grind and I'm fucking with the progress report. You did gotta go check them out. The progress report. All right, cool. What's going on? It's your girl Lala Shepherd. This is the progress report at South by Southwest edition, man. I got easy in the building. How you feeling? I'm doing good. How you feeling? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Again, thank you for being here. I checked out your content. I see what you got going on and I respect what you're doing. So appreciate it. Appreciate it. So let everybody know who are you and what do you do? Um, that easy. E A Z Y. I'm from North South Atlanta, Marietta be exact. I'm an artist and um yeah, I'm just trying to make waves in this thing, man. And trying to do my thing. Respect, respect, man. Um, you know, I got to ask you, you know, I live in Atlanta as well, so okay. how did it make you feel, you know, hearing I'm read a Sorry Not Sorry song about Atlanta? Low key, she ain't say shit about us. And she shot on my side of town, so. She did. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got <laughs> so put true. respect on it, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Everybody Atlanta, though. That ain't really make no east side, west side, south side. That make up Atlanta, so. For sure. She did what she had to do with it, though. She got some traction on it. Absolutely. I, I thought it was healthy for the culture, um, yeah. and I thought it was very ironic how she shot over there at, at the park, because, yeah. you know, that's cop. Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty funny to me. Um, so let's talk about your upbringing and your childhood. You know, I was, you know, going through your bio, and, um, you know, I, I heard, you know, just show the, the, the background story, but I want to hear from you. Oh, yeah. Um, I raised with my grandma. I know my mom died when I was seven, so mm. my grandma raised me. And um, I just been in and out of, you know what I'm saying, in the streets, doing what I had to do trying to take care of the family, trying to take care of home at least. And um, just fell in love with music and started doing music. You know what I'm saying? Respect, like, respect. And you know, I, I like to ask people about how they deal with, um, you know, grief and stuff because it's, it's so important. And I think a lot of people don't like to be open about that. But yeah. you know, seven years old, I know that was tough on you. Like how did, how did you cope and get through? Oh, I mean, family, you know what I'm saying, family. But you know, had to grow up fast. You know right. what I'm saying? I had to learn how to be the man real quick. Mm. And, um, yeah, it's, it's still traumatized, you know what I'm saying? When you go yeah, through something yeah. like that so early, it's still, it fuck with you and it change your perception of life a lot. But, you know what I'm saying, life happens. Life happens. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts. Okay, so getting into music, at what point did you, like, get into music to the point where you, like, you realized you wanted to be a rapper and an artist? Uh, I don't, I always love music. I always love doing music. And then... I kind of shied away from it, just being in the streets. But then I lost my brother in 2016. Mm. So after I lost my brother, I'm like, shit, it's go hard to go home. And that's when I really started amping it up and taking it more serious and stuff like that. But I've always been, loved music, though. Got you. Got you, got you. Sorry about your loss. I appreciate it. Um, and it was interesting when I heard about some of your influences, because with you being from the South, you said that you, you know, you listen to the likes of Eminem and Jay-Z. Yeah. So I'm curious to know, how did you, of course, you know, come across those um, type of artists and what was it about the type of artists that gravitated you to, to them? I like on um, real hip hop. Gotcha. I fell in love with real hip hop. Okay. Back, back when I was growing up, listening to them, Atlanta didn't really have the real hip hop, you know what I'm saying? It was like I more Lil John, crunk music and stuff mm. like that. But of course I listened to like T.I. and Ludacris. You know what I'm saying? But I really was, I fell in love with the bars. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I really fell in love with hip hop. Respect, respect, respect. So what other Southern artists, I know you just named, you know, Ludacris, um, T.I., what other Southern artists did you gravitate to, if any? Um, back then or like now? We can do both. Okay, back then it was, like I said, T.I., Ludacris, mm -hmm. um, Outkast. Of course. Um, I was waiting on that one. Yeah, you gotta you're talking <laughs> about bars. You gotta put them up there, right? I was waiting. Right? I was waiting on it. Um, it's just really the whole DTP movement at the mm, time too. Yes. You know, everybody who was on DTP was really they was going hard. Definitely. And, um, yes. Yeah, that's, that's all I think of at this moment back then and now. Uh, shit, I fought with Money Man hard though. Yeah. I fought with Money Man. I think Money Man really spitting some shit right now, so he putting on for the city too. For sure. Yeah. Nah, Money Man definitely doing his thing. And speaking of DTP, I seen that they recently like reunited too, which was really dope. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, it was uh, Luda, of course, um, Shauna, Chingy, um, and uh, Lil Fate. Okay. So it was definitely a good look for sure. I was happy to see that. that um, but big respect. big respect. I was waiting on you to say outcast. Oh, so. yeah. Um, okay, well, let's talk about South by Southwest. Of course, we out here for the big festival. Um, have you been out here before, or is this your first time? No, this is my third time being out South by Southwest. Got you. Now, yeah. what are some things that you noticed differently this year? Um, to me, it's all about the same. Everybody, there's a whole lot of people here, more people than I thought was going to be here. Mm. They're still doing the showcases, the shows, but to me, it's about the same, though. I'm, I'm glad it got back to normal. 
Me too. And I feel like, you know, I feel like next year will be bigger. I feel like a lot of people were still a little skeptical yeah. to come, but I, I do feel that energy again, yeah. you know. Um, so have you performed yet? No, nah, actually, I was supposed to do a show last night, mm -hmm. but I had to miss the show because I had um, a feature, a studio session to do, so I may end up missing the show. Okay, well, yeah. respect, respect. I definitely want to talk about just the fact that you maneuvering around and doing features, and, you know, I, I respect that. So since we brought that up, you know, who did you have a session with? Oh, uh, me and Sauce Walker did something last night. Lit. Yeah, Virgo crazy, but real, that's a real nigga right there, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Virgo, Virgo crazy. He got a lot of energy, too. A mm. lot of energy, but... Yeah, I fought with a long way. Okay. Yeah, that's real. Well, how did you guys link up and, and what type of vibe did y'all create last night? Was it one song, a couple of songs? Tell me all about it. Oh, we just knocked out one song, but I was fucking with my boy KB family. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy KB. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, he was like, bro, let's go to this little mansion party and shit. So we go to the mansion party. As soon as we walk in there, so I was walking right there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we chopped up and like, all right, well, you know what I'm saying? Let's knock something out. And the rest was history. You know what I'm saying? Got to it. Fire. Fire, fire, yeah. fire. Okay. Well, I wanted to ask you about linking with another, um, you know, person that's influential in the city, T.K. Kravitz. Oh, yeah, that's my dog, Talk too. Talk about that. Oh, yeah, um, I linked through a mutual friend, producer named okay. um, Bone, A. Bone. Okay. And we link, he linked us up, and shit, we just clicked, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my little partner, too, though, you know what I'm saying? Bro, cool as hell, you know what I'm saying? Real nigga, too. And sure. we just knocked out the song. We got a little whole little project coming up later on this summer, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, I definitely fuck with TK, man. We had him on the show not too long ago, too. Oh, yeah. So, cool. Yeah. Um, Talk about working with Fredo Bay. Oh, Fredo, another cool nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cool young nigga, man. We went to um, Miami, shot the video for it. Dope. Like I said, my people reached out to hit people. We linked up, knocked it out, and made another hit. You know what I'm saying? That video coming out real soon, too, though. Definitely, yeah, I'm just definitely. trying to make waves, man. I'm trying to put the pressure on. I see you, nah. Trust me, I see put the pressure on them. Big respect. And I wanted to ask you about the on b Peasy song. That's the latest record, and I heard that you was talking about progress in the beginning, so you know I love that. So talk yeah. about that. Yeah, there's you no know, going back. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's another, somebody else we reached out to, linked up, made an adult record, but it was just about no going back. You know what I'm saying? No coming from the bottom, you know what I'm saying, and getting to the top, and ain't no looking back from here. Respect. Respect, man. Um, and I wanted to salute you too, man. You know, getting those visuals, getting those drops, you know, from people, because that's what it's about. I feel like, you know, artists sometimes they make the mistake of just doing a song and not getting, you know, additional content. You got to yeah. do both yeah, you if got you can. To. Yep. I say, I tell everybody it's not a real feature unless you get a video, especially nowadays. Yeah, let's be clear. And so if they, if they talking about they want five or something for the feature and they want 10 for the video with the feature, the, the, it's, 10, it's 10 bands. Run it. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't just do the fire. You got to do the whole thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Talk about some other tips and advice for independent artists. Um, make sure you know the business. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you definitely know the business and what you're doing. And just keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? It don't happen overnight. Some right. people want to, I guess, work six months and don't see the outcome they want to and quit. You definitely got to stay down. You definitely got to keep grinding. Respect. Respect. Um, okay, respect, man. Um, I want you to define my keyword progress. You know, like I said, you mentioned it on your latest record, and that's also, you know, our keyword here at the Progress Support. So, what does the word progress mean to you? As long as you keep on moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's big steps, small steps, as long as you keep moving forward and not moving backwards and not looking back to keep going to the next level, you got to you gotta progress every day. You got to wake up with something new, try to progress to get, get you to where you want to get to in life, no matter what you're doing. For sure. So why should people listen to you if they haven't before? Oh, I'm the definition of the grind. You know what I'm saying? What it look like, you know what I'm saying, when you stay down for real. You know mm. what I'm saying? That's what I talk about. You know what I'm saying? I come, like I said, I come from the bottom and I'm here now. And if you're going through that same type of struggle, if you hustle, if you trap hard, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what you do. And to me, when I tell people trap hard, it's not just in the trap. Everybody got their own trap. You know what I'm saying? Doctors mm. got their own trap. Strippers call, they, you know, they spot the trap. You got the real trap, you can be a lawyer, you can be a ball player, but wherever you go, your place of work, that's your trap. So at, at all times, you trap hard. Damn right. Damn right. So what's coming up next? Um, Next month, I got one dropping Fredo Bang coming up next month. So that's the one everybody waiting on. Dope. And then after that, I'm going to go with, got some with TK dropping, and I'm going to throw Sauce Walker in there too. So yeah, it's going to be a good summer. Big respect, big respect, man. Well, you definitely got my support. Um, anything that y'all got going on, especially two of us in Atlanta, I pull up, and uh, we definitely gonna support. 
Appreciate you, appreciate you. Of I got, I'm really fucking with y'all got going on. Nah, big respect. Well, we tapped in there. Let's do it. Yep. The Progress Report.